All right, guys, so we got to talk about an interesting story out of Europe, of Finland to be exact. That is another example of so called diversity and inclusion gone wrong. And this time it involves uh, Finland's, I guess, first transgender national figure skater, uh, Miss or Mr. Mina Maria Antikainen. Okay, now if I butchered that name, you guys can roast me in the comment section. <laughs> like you always do uh, when I mispronounce people's names. Uh, but Miss or Mr. <laughs> Mina um, is a, a, a figure skater, an, an ice skater, I, I believe. And this person is 50 some years old, 57 years old. They, they've been ice skating for, I think, five years or something like that. And uh, Finland decided to feature this person as a part of the opening ceremony that is supposed to praise equality and diversity in the ISU European Figure Skating Championships. Now, this happened and this person, this transgender skater was introduced on the ice. And let's just say that the introduction did not go that well. Take a look. Vaikka syntyperäisin oinkin mies. Ja tuota, sieltä on niin yhdeksän vuotta aikaa, eli siihen yhdeksän vuoteen sisältyy aika paljon. Eli kun lähdetään ihan nollasta, niin ihan jo sitä, että pysyy pystyssä kahdella jalalla, pysyy pystyssä yhdellä jalalla ja sen jälkeen rupeaa niin uskaltamaan tehdä jotakin siellä jäällä. Ja sitten alkaa pikkuhiljaa kisaamaan ja esiintymään näytöksissä ja niin edelleen. Että sanotaan, että aika kivaa. Ura on ollut, mutta tietysti korona tuli vähän sitten väliin, että se sitten sotki, sotki kuviota. Mutta tuota, eteenpäin mennään ja homma ja Mahtavaa. Näiden EM-kisojen slogan on tule sellaisena kuin olet. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Um, now, this seems to be a case of diversity and inclusion going wrong, right? A diversity and inclusion <laughs> that ended up having a disastrous result for... Finley, at least uh, during this person's opening ceremony performance. And I got to tell you guys, before I judge, I, I really can't say much because I went ice skating for the first time um, two days ago, right? And it is hard, okay? It is extremely difficult, right? I was, <laughs> I was falling down, busting my butt all over the place, okay? But it was my first time. I hadn't been doing it for five plus years like this person who... I mean, it seems like, you know, they're okay, but they don't really seem to be that great, especially not good enough to be performing at, I, I guess, what you would call an international competition in, in Europe. Um, but hey, you know, diversity and inclusion uh, and affirmative action seems to be more important than actual skills and performance nowadays. Uh, so let's read about this because it, it seems like that that's the case here. Uh, the ISU European uh, Figure Skating Championships at Espoo Metro Arena will begin on Wednesday, 25th, January, with a uh, spectacular opening ceremony drawing its inspiration from the uh, event's theme, Just Be You. The Finnish Figure Skating Association promotes the importance of equality and diversity and develops skating according to its values. <laughs> Basically, hey, we don't really care about how good you are anymore. We're going to uh, make sure that everybody can skate. Everybody can get seen because we care about quality and diversity versus actual performance. Sounds familiar, right? Sounds like exactly what's happening in the United States. The, the, the West is just <laughs> falling uh, because of uh, diversity and inclusion. It, it, it really is sad. Uh, the theme, quote, Just Be You, will be a visible part of the opening ceremony with performers from various backgrounds. The half-hour opening ceremony was designed by uh, synchronized skating coach Helena uh, Tienhara uh, together with choreographer and coach Beta Lepi Lampi. Uh, quote, with a diverse group of performers, we want to show that the ice has space for everybody. Quote, the opening ceremony will present skaters at various levels from non-professionals to top athletes. On the ice, we'll, we will see single skaters, synchronized skaters, and pairs, including among the performers are figure skater Mina Maria uh, Antikainen, who defines herself as a gender-neutral woman. What is a gender neutral woman? <laughs> I don't understand. How can you be gender neutral in a woman? I, I, I don't get it. 
<laughs> right? Is that like a non-binary woman? I, I, I don't get it, right? How can you be gender neutral <laughs> and a woman? If you're a woman, then you're not gender neutral. Uh, if you're non-binary, then you can't be like a woman or a man if you're non-binary. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay, I don't get it. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can if you're non-binary. I guess non-binary would mean that you're not in one box. But again, why throw the woman or the man in there, right? If you don't want to be just labeled as one box. I, I really don't get it. I really don't. I really don't. This is just as confusing as the people that claim that they use they them slash him pronouns right or they them slash her pronouns i'm like i don't get it i don't understand it i really don't um adaptive skating performers and a male synchronized skating team uh tian hotter said quote often only the top skaters in the country are seen in figure skating shows with this diverse group of performers we want to show that the ice has space for everyone especially in uncertain and difficult times like these it is meaningful to create an accepting and positive experience for all uh lee pon lampi said yeah so uh you know these two uh believe that diversity and inclusion is much more important than actual performance right so they decided to feature uh, a whole bunch of people who otherwise probably should not be on the ice representing the country. Uh, but, you know, they, 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 they did anyways. They put them out there anyways. And the sad part about it is not only do the amateurs or the people who don't belong out there kind of get embarrassed uh, when, you know, they fall or whatever. Uh, but also the audience suffers because if I'm watching, you know, a professional or international level competition, we're talking about ice skating or whatever, a sport. Um, I don't want to watch amateurs, right? If I want to watch amateurs, you know, fall on their butt, then I would just go to the local ice skating rink and just watch the newbies fall down, right? When you go to an international competition uh, to see any type of sport or performance, you want to see the highest level performers. That's what you want to see. So again, not only are you embarrassing the people that you're putting out there that shouldn't be out there, right? Uh, you're also making the experience worse for the audience who probably paid to watch that event, right? I, I'm not paying to see amateurs uh, in the name of diversity and inclusion. I'm paying to see professionals who can skate at the highest level. And, you know, the result was that it just so happens that their star diversity and inclusion higher, right, was skater who happens to be transgender, busted uh, his butt on the ice during the introduction right which again is really a, a great kind of metaphor uh for kind of how a lot of these diversity and inclusion hires go i mean just look at corinne john pierre here in the united states she's a disaster as press secretary right uh look at what happened to sam Britton, right the non-binary energy nuclear czar from the biden administration dude got fired for stealing suitcases look at rachel uh, Levine. Okay. Uh, he's a disaster as I think a health secretary. Um, again, it seems to me that when you hire people or when you have people perform, not based off their skills, but based off, you know, who they like to sleep with, whether or not they like their genitalia, <laughs> their skin color, when you, uh, hire people, or have people perform or you pick people because of that, uh, it seems like you're not going to get the best results, <laughs> right? I'm just saying this has happened so many times. I think there's a clear pattern here. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.